U.S. authorities are learning more from the wreckage of the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down almost two weeks ago. However, they remain tight-lipped about the three other unidentified objects shot down while flying over the country. The payload, electronics and optics from the Chinese spy balloon lifted from the ocean floor near South Carolina are now headed to the FBI lab in Quantico. We learned a lot already from the balloon by surveilling it while it was flying over the country. We're going to learn even more, we believe, by getting a look at, at the guts inside it. But U.S. officials are warning we may not learn much more about the three likely harmless objects shot down since Friday. Recovery efforts hampered by weather fizzling out. But a hobby group called the Northern Illinois Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade says their party-style Pico balloon went missing in Alaska the same day a U.S. fighter jet shot down an object there. The founder of the balloon company that makes the balloons told Aviation Week, I tried contacting our military and the FBI and just got the runaround. So the question now is if the U.S. military used a $400,000 missile to shoot down a balloon that costs about 12 bucks. U.S. officials say they haven't heard from any group yet that's missing their sky toys. New procedures for how to identify and deal with future potential threats will remain classified so adversaries don't take note. Also meaning Americans won't get the full picture either. If they see something in the air, should there be any concern that a missile is going to follow it? Um, again, we're not going to rule anything out in or out in terms of how we're going to treat with uh, additional potential uh, unidentified aircraft. The White House is turning its attention back to Biden's agenda, seizing on an op-ed by Republican Senator Rick Scott pledging to protect Social Security and Medicare. The president congratulates Senator uh, Scott on joining the post State of the Union red wave, as we have seen from Republicans, acknowledging that they are in fact been attempting to put Medicare and Social Security on the chopping block. Even though both sides now apparently agree on the need to protect senior entitlement programs, the White House is still stoking the fight. Spokesperson Andrew Bates saying supporting the repeal of the Inflation Reduction Act, Senator Scott is pursuing the biggest Medicare cuts in a generation.